Man, Spike's just ready to go and catch those monkeys. He's also ready to really show off. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ape Escape. Last episode, we headed off to the new world of Futurama and got the final gadget that I need to mainly backtrack. In this episode, we're going to do just that. Backtrack! Sorry Futurama, it's gonna take a while. And I mean, we can backtrack so much. Starting with Cryptic Relics. Yes, we needed the RC car to come back here, actually. I know, that seems kind of outrageous, right? I didn't check how many monkeys we actually had left to catch. So let's actually check. Three monkeys. I think I know where they are, too. And now that we have the Sky Flyer, we don't really have to worry about anything. Let's go over this way. So, right now, I, I've i kind of given up the job, sh the, bleh, job search right now. I've tried for the last couple of months, to be quite honest, and just got nothing. I had an interview at, um, what was it called? I had an interview at Office Depot, but uh, jobs make you take a little, like, test so to speak, and I didn't score enough points, unfortunately, so, sucks there, I tried two of those, tried about four different restaurants, GameStop now eight times, Walmart four times, Target three, um, Target three, whoop, no, I don't want to exit the stage, um, I'm, basically I've tried many, many times to get a job, and have had no luck as such, so I'm just gonna be jobless for a while, <laughs> which kind of seems because I honestly have never had a job. I've tried, but I never have. Now, we never went into this room the first time we went to Dark Ruins because there was nothing we could really do in this room per se. We could catch some monkeys, but not all of them, which is why I wanted to hold off on it. Now, first off, See, there's a monkey right there. Skip you. Now, we can actually just use a sky flyer to get up here. What you should do is you could hit this, I believe, with the stun club. Yes, you can break it with the stun club. But with the sky flyer, it makes it easier. Now, let's head over this way. And we'll see there's another monkey over this way that we need the RC car to get. Well, if we hurry up and get over there, come on. There it is. It's inside this cage right here. See? And I believe that mailbox just tells you about it. Little monkey! Okay, I've, he, the AI for this is actually pretty smart. Never thought I'd see this. Come on. Little monkey into- Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Little monkey! I forgot the RC car explodes after a time. Come on, come on. Oh my god, come on! Monkey! Get! Get your butt over here! Get over here and into my net! Into my net! That was more difficult than it needed to be! Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, that was. Just. Uh, that was unnecessary, monkey! Uh, so much for not screaming in this episode, that's for sure. Now, I actually am. I know when I say, oh, I'm going to make a long episode, I never do. This one actually will be a long episode. But there will be cuts in it when I cut to other worlds I'm going to. So, I'll tell you which worlds I'll be going to in due time. So, first things first, let's go and get this last monkey. Now, how do we... Ah, right. Hit, break this. Hit the switch. Open up the gate right there, so we can proceed to the last monkey. Missed me. I shouldn't taunt it. I have bad luck when that happens. I can't hit someone with an RC car. I can, but I don't think my RC car will fly that well. Now, again, precarious platforming. Success. Oh. Okay, I was about to say precarious platforming success. I almost fell. Nice. 
See, there's a jacket right there, which is always good. And a monkey! Well, I don't see the point in hitting the switch. Now, I'm going to cut to me going to the next stage. What is the next stage, you may ask? That is Coral Cove. So, I'll see you guys then. And we're back at lovely Coral Cove. No monkeys on sharks this time. Ugh, God. Now let's try and avoid the sharks. Now let's go down this way. Before I said... Before, if you remember, I thought we didn't need the sky flyer for right here. I was wrong. Hit you. Nope. I shouldn't have fallen right there. Let's use the sky flyer up here. And the monkey is just running around. I thought he was actually going to jump into the water for a second. Ow. Monkey, just hold still so I can catch you in my net. There we go. Now, let's head back into the cave. There is a lot more monkeys in the cave. Ooh, yes, there are. Skyflyer avoids shark. Oh, God, shark. Don't taunt the shark. Now, we're not going to go to Dexter's Island after this. No, I want to get that special final gadget before I do Dexter's Island. Because I don't want to have to just go back there for a, um, Spectre Point. Ow, cheese. Nope, nope. Arsenal monkeys. Oh, no, I am low on health. Cookie. Oh, thank you. Somehow you got into my net. I have no idea how, how but I'm... I will accept that. Now, I believe we hit... Do we hit this? Now, uh, <sighs> annoying enemies. Wait, is this a back way you could take? No, I don't think it is. What am I missing here? Whoa. I'm missing the sound of a monkey. Right there. There we go. And that's the last monkey. Okay, I actually did not know that monkey was there. Now, the last place we're going to backtrack to is going to be Hot Springs. No, wait, no. We're going to be backtracking to Wabi Sabi Wall and to... Um, Sushi Temple too. So I'll meet you guys inside Hot Springs at the top of Hot Springs. Uh, guys, um, I'm back. I forgot about Frosty Retreat. My bad. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a long episode of backtracking, which I love how I said this game is longer than, um, what was it called? I love how I said this game was longer than... Nightmare Before Christmas, yet I'm still doing this pretty fast, to be quite honest. Now, with how this is going, I'm assuming I'm on part 15 right now. This will probably end up being a 20... I don't know, a 20 part project, if not less. And in fact, because I've still got some cutting to do, I'll do Snowy Mammoth, and then I'll cut the episode there, and then this... Episode 16 will also be backtracking. Yep, I... Okay, I didn't think that would have happened. Let's go up this time. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Ice ball. That looks like it shouldn't be rolling. Let's go over this way. Anyway, I know you guys probably don't like backtracking. I keep on saying this, but... Such is the thing when you're going for 100%, right? You gotta do backtracking on things. Oop, there we go. Now let's jump up here. Now, yes, we needed the RC car to get the last monkey. If we didn't, then Roxas is a derp. But I'm remembering that we needed to. Uh, I think there's only two monkeys left that we have to catch. You can hear one of them, and you can hear the missiles, which means it's a green pan monkey, and that. Roxas is a derp. Get this monkey. Now. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh god. Get, catch him! Oh, I hate green pant monkeys so much. There are really not that many in this game. 
Eh, Roxas is a derp. He could have come back here at any time. I don't know why I was thinking that you needed the RC car for this, to be quite honest. Hmm. What was I thinking? Probably some stupid Roxas logic. It's like my friend Vince with his Vince logic, only more derpy. I need to stop saying derp. Anyway, let's go up this way. I have a feeling those flying enemies are going to hit me. No, not this time. Monkey with a gun and I'm precarious platforming. And where's the last monkey? Oh. Monkey over this way? Monkey over this way. Now here's something I want to bring up. When we first came here, the professor was talking. Ouch. The professor was talking about how the fridge, this place is going to be really, really cold. Yeah. Why is Spike in shorts and a t-shirt? He goes to the warp station, and it is obvious that the warp station, he can leave at any time. Why does he not have a jacket? The same thing can be said in animes and in cartoon. Well, not really cartoons as much, because cartoons I watch, they do have, like, sweaters or something. So it applies only to so through what I can see it applies only to anime and video game logic. <laughs> Apparently you do not need jackets. Anyway, I'm going to cut to me at the top of the hot springs. So I see you guys then. Okay guys, I'm back at the top of Snowy Mammoth. Now the last time we were up here, I had fallen Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's try again without failing. I've got this. Now, I'm not going to lie. That took me about four times because I fell at that part four times. <laughs> uh, welcome to the hot springs, everyone. Uh, the music here is nice, too. It's it's kind of like upbeat. I love it. Now, the Spectre coin, if I'm remembering correctly, is on the roof. I might be wrong, though. I know it's inside here. Ah, never mind. It's right over there. There's a jacket on the roof, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and get that jacket. Now, you can see there's a monkey right there. Meditating. Or just lounging. Guess he couldn't see me through the pixely water. Silly monkey. Let's go up this way. And there should be... Yep. Black Pants Monkey. Without a gun, though. There should be one more monkey, and if I'm remembering correctly, it's over this way. There he is. Surprised they're not lounging. Ow. The good part about these monkeys is they don't have weapons! And that's yeah. all of them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it off right here. Next time on Let's Play Ape Escape, I'm going to backtrack some more to Wabi Sabi Wall and to uh, Sushi Temple so we can finish those up. This has been Roxas1359, and I'll see you guys next time. This is by Roxas1359. Like, subscribe, enjoy, guys. I hope to see you next time.